Hello guys, my name is Mitch Ramzhensky. I continue to publish videos from my upcoming course about GraphQL engine called Hasura and in this video I will show you how to combine multiple filters and how to perform pagination. So let's get started. Hi guys. In previous videos we saw how rich filtering and searching capabilities in Hasura. But in this video we will do one step beyond and we will see how to combine multiple filters. Actually, we already saw these operators which can combine multiple operators, but back then I decided to skip them. These three operators are underscore and, underscore not and underscore or. From their name we can understand what they're supposed to do, but let's see them in action. And I would like to start with underscore and operator. Actually, we have already used this underscore and operator, or better to say its simpler version. We did it when we were doing filtering by multiple fields. We can achieve behavior of underscore and by defining a filter criteria inside of where property. As example, I want to fetch all photos where photo underscore URL is not null and created at is greater than data of second photo. So if I run this query, we will see the third photo and its clone, exactly what we expected. You can also achieve the same result with underscore and. For this, I will just copy the data I need, then uncheck the checkboxes and expand underscore and. Here I will say that created underscore add is greater than my date and photo URL is not null. I run the query and we see that result stays the same. The only one difference which has this underscore and operator, it can take as parameter an array, which can be for some cases better, but to be honest I have never had a case where I would need it. The next one would be underscore or. This operator also takes array, but it compares if any of our filters return true. If I just change underscore and to underscore or and run it, we will see that all items appear. It happens because our is null operator, which set to false, satisfied all items, because all of them have some value in field. Let's maybe modify the query a little bit and uh, let's say that we want to get photos where date greater than current one, but description should contain word first. Now we see that second photo was excluded because it doesn't satisfy any of our filters. Its creation date is not greater than current one and it doesn't contain the word first in its description. And the last remark that worth to mention here is that input parameter should be always array for this operator. Otherwise, it will behave as a underscore and operator. So keep in mind this. Okay, let's move on and have a look at the operator underscore not. It should be very simple. It is working mostly the same way as underscore and EQ, which we saw in previous video. Let's try to build query with underscore not operator. So I want to fetch photos where ID is not equal this ID. When I run the query, I see all photos where ID is different from what I provided. The same result we will get if we use underscore and EQ operator. See? It stays the same. Underscore not can be useful when you want to invert result of multiple filters. Let's say we want to take our previous query with underscore or and completely invert it. Now we have only one item where there is no word first in description 
or creation date less than defined. Whew, I don't know how about you, but I'm really impressed by all these Hasura filtering capabilities. It is really so powerful and remember that we still didn't write any single line of code. But it is not all functionality. In next video we will learn another things like pagination. So see you there. Hello guys, welcome to this lesson. In this short but useful video we will learn how to do pagination in Hasura. Let's query all photos for now. So now we see all four photos. But let's imagine that we have 1000 of photos or even more, but we do not want to query all of them, right? Most probably user is not interested in 1000 photos, but in first 10 or 20. So we have to somehow limit it. Hasura provides such an option right out of the box. You just need to find the field called limit under the field which you are trying to fetch and set some value. I will set it to 2. Now you can see that we have got only first two records. So we can consider it as our first page. Now let's think what we need to do in order to get next two records, namely second page. Right, we have to somehow skip the first two and the field offset does exactly what we need. Offset defines how many records should be skipped so in our case it will be two. Let's try it out. And now we see next two photos which go after first two photos. If we would like to fetch third page we would need to set offset to four and so on. So the formula you should follow when you implement your pagination is offset equal the page number minus one multiply by the limit. So if you would like to get page number three, according to formula it would be three minus one equal two and multiply it by limit which is two, so we will get four. So our offset should be set to four and so on. So this is how you can implement pagination for your application and you can see that it's quite easy to do. So let's move on and explore the new Hasura features. See you in the next video.